Hello everybody, welcome back. Today, today, as you can see, you can see the clouds through the top windows. I put some more windows up here. I try to line them up so they look like they had a meaning of some sort. But today is the day I'm going to try and put a roof on this place. If it doesn't work, I'm making, I'm just building a flat roof. I'm not going to fight with it for too long. But let's... You see? I've done nothing. I have been good. Now we just got to figure this out. And as everybody knows, I hate roofs. But for you guys, I will do my very best. All right, um, I'm not going to do the side area off the cafe yet. I am recording this before I've seen your feedback. So apologies for that, but my time sharing on the computer, Easter is coming up and we have a few holidays over this coming weekend. We've had a couple of holidays when I'm posting this it is a holiday and so I haven't really seen any feedback I've just had to record a whole bunch of videos so that you've got something to watch every day that's my roof you can hear I'm ecstatic about this I'm, I'm, I'm just so looking forward to it does this have any other colors no it doesn't steel roof tiles that might work if we go for like a dark brown do not clip other roofs do not be clipped by other roofs I think I'm going to do a hip roof but I'm going to do almost a flat hip roof let's see if this works wish me luck please don't laugh at me too hard I'm going to slap it on literally one in because then you won't see the gutters. I'm going to have to do it there. You won't see the gutters. So, any suggestions will be appreciated. Right, so that is 6.8 meters. Am I correct? Yes. Let's go. Put this roof on. Mm. And it's definitely not a low peak, but it's fine. We can live with that. We can adjust it. I'm going to have to lift it up because obviously it is going to be a problem inside so let me do that and let's have a look inside as you can see it's breaking too low so it's going to have to go up so let's change it first because I want to make it a very low pitch right so that's plan a first first step in my plan so you can barely see the roof until I lift it up a bit then we're going to go and do the fun thing we're gonna lift it no we don't want to lift it there I want to lift the whole damn room. Okay. Is there a gap now? I don't know if I like that. Why am I not going backwards? I, no, 
that's not too bad because it'll add I can just do the same brick on there did I get it right did I actually maybe get it right well it is an easy roof it's like just a flat block I'll be so excited if I got it right. Might give me some confidence to do it next time. All right, so what are we looking like? Okay, that. Let's see how tall these walls are. 2.8. Awesome, I can put a ceiling in. These are old apartments, so we can put us. Oh, I am so excited! Awesome. Okay, I feel a bit better now. All right, now do we put the darker brick because I've got two tone brick on the front? It's not very obvious it's a very subtle two-tone as you can see from these two in fact you can see it better there maybe I should use the darker one and it pretty much looks like <gasps> I've been paying attention thank you for all your hints and tips awesome Okay, let's put a let's put a ceiling in, shall we? I'm going to go with the same um, ceiling color as I have what is going on? <gasps> as I have walls but that's white mm. I'm gonna have to just put some trim around here I don't have to I'm going for a fairly industrial look on the back I did put lights by the way I put these sort of street lights and then I put lights outside the doors here oh and you can see I've been I've been working hard I also just did the little bathroom it hasn't got a window it's just literally a okay I need to pop out from the shop put up back in five minutes on this on the on the door but we now have a functional usable bathroom that if needs be and you're sitting in the cafe you can pop in and use it so it's I'll actually must put a, a sign on I can't believe I can't believe that I did that Wow now they must be end. So which one of these signs we don't really have much of a choice, do we? It's a little bit more restrained. Yeah. It's very... Discreet is the word I'm searching for. I would like numbers, so I can number one, two, three, and then number the apartments upstairs. But, okay, while I was doing this, let's see. I put the white in. I wonder if I should put cream in instead. I think it would probably be a good idea. Let's go grab this cream. And then maybe convert it to that. Which 
is a Venetian plaster. Let's just go out here and just do this whole ceiling. Whee! I am so excited. Yes, that sort of makes it a little bit more subtle. And I think these walls are cream, they're not white. Yes, you can actually see those are a, a creamy colour. So I think let's do cream in here as well. I also put in um, wooden panelling. I thought that would be appropriate. I'm regarding this as a little bed sit. So maybe it's the waitress from downstairs who lives here. Or maybe it's someone who works in the neighborhood. Now I haven't put tiles into the bathroom yet. We will do that today. But yes, that sort of gives it a slightly older feel, which I think works. Because if you think about it, this place has been around for a while. So, this is possibly one of the apartments that the owner still owns, the owner of the building, and he just rents it out, or she rents it out. As extra income. So awesome. We've got a little kitchen. I'm liking <laughs> the green and cream tiles simply because you know at the end of the day you are going to be if you're renting the place out you, you're not really paying much attention to refitting anything and this would have been the original tiles that the place was built with. Oopsie. So, I might leave that there and then it will probably have a, a corner unit there because this little place is going to be the kitchen. So let's see what we need for the bathroom. And again, what we're doing here is literally just a tiny little bathroom. Do I want a shower? Or do I want a bath? Oh, why am I looking at sinks? These are the same. Okay, I'm guessing that one is smaller. Let's see how big this is. Okay, that will fit. There, and this one, exactly the same. Or is that the... No, these are exactly the same. There's nothing different. Whereas this one is square and that one is curved. That's weird. Alright, they're all exactly the same size. So, there's that. The other alternative is a shower. Which will probably fit better. into the bathroom because we can have a shower there, toilet and basin and we haven't used a lot of space. But let's see what we're going to do with this. Um, I think that because it's going to go onto that wall and then let's see what we have.
think we'll keep it with the basic standard. Okay, what color are we going to do this? Should we do it cream as well? Or should, no, let's stay with white. Standard fittings are cheaper. And standard fittings will mostly be what is used. Okay. So that will be against that wall. That door will open that way. And we've got more than enough space here for a toilet. But before I do that, I think tiles I think I'm going for the basic tiles. I don't know what size they are. We'll try and no, let's not try and match that green. Let's try and match that cream. You know what? Let's match that. And then all we have to do is match that. Maybe. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah. So it's the same color tile as. that square in the floor okay let us bring this wall out how far do we need it can we get it can we get away with this damn it it's got the wrong finish on it but it's fine So I'm going to have to do a that's the top and then we also have we actually have a molding at the bottom here what color is that? Oh, we can't do that. Um, um, where's the little one? Damn it. Can't remember which one I used. There's one. Size. Okay, and let's see door. What interior door would we use in this place? The doors are too nice. I would say go for. Maybe that one. These are inexpensive doors. Maybe that. Big is this? Tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny, but it'll do. Let me just you know, ground myself so I can actually walk on the floor. And then let's copy this. Where am I? I'm 
put it on there. And then we just go over these details here. I think it's Red Beach. Awesome. And yes, the door is going to have to open out this way because there's no way it's going to be able to open in. All right, let's find our tiles. I think that's the right height. We literally have tiles right up to there, so tiniest little bathroom you ever did see. Okay, we need to fill the toilet. Basic, no toilet color. Hi. Hi. Basically the same size as the bathroom downstairs, except it has a shower. <laughs> and then I'm thinking that same little corner basin. Well, let's see if this fits first. Oh, it does actually. We'll take that. Let's put them, let's make them silver. Yeah, that'll work. Teeny, tiny little bathroom. But it does what it needs to do. Okay, so we are going to need a light switch. I'm sticking with these ones and I think I'm going to go with the dark brown one. Okay. Yeah. Now do we have a little cupboard that we can put oh I was you see you see it's like shiny <laughs> and then I get sidetracked. Okay, that's the front. That probably is going to be too wide. Maybe something like this will it fit. Literally. As if it's meant. Awesome. Okay. I don't think we should put much color on it but we can probably go with similar to the floor color okay go with the white wood match the white bits and bobs and at least you have storage in the bathroom I've lived in a teeny tiny place and boy do you need storage wherever you can find it. You can never have too much storage. Okay, and then we need a mirror. Again, it's probably going to be a fairly inexpensive one. Um, how big is this? Perfect. Go back to the lights before I get distracted. And I'm probably going to go 
is this going to be too long? How long do we want on the bottom? When it was first installed, it would probably be gold. old-fashioned bathroom. I'm almost tempted to take these and run a, a line around the the bathroom with it but I'm not going to. All right now we can probably put something on the wall and we're going to probably use the cheap picture frame. It's a green bathroom. So we can probably use something like that on one of these. These are pretty. Maybe we can do two of them. Soap dispenser or soap, you know what? Maybe we should just go straight with straight soap, but no, that's these are lovely. These are ridiculously expensive, but they're lovely. But no, I don't think the lady or gentleman who stays here is going to be up for that. So let's just go for the nun. But even if you only got it for nine dollars, euros, rands, whatever, you could still make it pretty. That's cute. at that isn't that pretty pretty much looks like a hand soap you could buy from the local store which is awesome and then some bits and bobs you know what we should actually have is a laundry somewhere in the building but I mean We don't have that, so we'll just store the the stuff in here on the floor because it doesn't fit on the shelves, which is a pain. We need a bin, a toilet roll holder. Toilet roll. Hold it. There we go. And maybe a few 
I don't think any of the shops downstairs sell toilet rolls. I have a funny feeling. I love these tissues. Ready? Tissues in here. Maybe some bits and bobs. What have we got here? We've got cream, body scrub, cleanser. We definitely need cream. Perfume. That one. Shower gel. Maybe a bit close enough to the shower. options here. Maybe running out to the to the store every time you run out. Here's some shampoo. but I think that's oh that's cheap well, let's go with this one and we can just copy the the pattern across from that Toothbrush. I'm not too stressed about that. A laundry basket. Oh wow, that's very fancy. Boxes in here. Have no idea what they would be, but that's okay. Soap dish. We don't have towels folded, do we? we do you have these? Which we can probably use. They don't really work as towels per se. But you know what? It is what it is. Just stack them with the move tool. Okay, these guys, I just want to move. Thank you. 
Floating. Better. Okay, so we've got some towels, and then I think we need else do we have kitchen accessories I think there's a big sponge somewhere I'm not sure there it is and maybe a little carpet on the floor we don't need anything big, we just need something tiny. Oh yes, fluffy bath mat. Perfect. Bathroom. Done. Walls lacking. This cream almost looks like it needs to be repainted, if that makes sense. It's almost like it's getting a little old and a little worn, which I'm not opposed to. All right, so we've got a bathroom. We actually managed to get a bathroom in here. So let's see. Um, I don't even know what it is. I suppose we'd better go and find it, shall we? Um, yeah, I can do that. All right, let's get a little corner cabinet. I'm just going to fit it and then we can decide what actually want okay we're never going to find something that fits there are we hmm. functional cabinets we will need a sink Thinking a single sink. And a fridge. Is that too big? Yes, it covers the window. Perfect. cheapest fridge we can find. Three, two, three, seven. Nine hundred. I'll take it. It doesn't quite fit in the gap in the in the space. But you know what? That's a that's not a bad thing. As far as I'm concerned that works in our favor we can maybe squidge it over and put a little bin in there um, i think the bins are here would that fit let's see oh it fits like it was made for it okay 
I'm going to just dump stuff and then we will get actual usable stuff. I suppose we're going to need a stove, aren't we? That one. That one, definitely. Okay. We will redo the colours at some stage. Now, once again, we need a stove top. That's five, six, nine. That's more expensive. That's more expensive. So I suppose we go to the top here. Yeah, I think that little type of kitchen will be perfect. So let us start with the stove. What colour base should we do? Should we do a neutral base or a dark base? I suppose we can do that and then the top No, that's very green. It's the straight white. They're a little too silly. Maybe we need to do white covers. Maybe even cupboards Steel handles. Doesn't look too bad. Alright, if I do that. Hmm. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like this. a little bit better but this definitely needs to going to need some carpets in here because this floor is like a deep dark pit but it's okay we just need to change that sink the basic white I suppose 
countertop's fine, the sink's fine, everything else is fine. Okay. I think that is better. Let's find hanging cabinets, shall we? We are going to need a corner cabinet. And we're going for a very basic corner cabinet. Can we please turn? Thank you. Just making me feel like I'm not lining anything up. Oh, probably because it's not turned. Stupid thing. Okay, not stupid thing, stupid me. We have to have a couple of cupboards in the kitchen because we're going to need them. twitchy today for whatever reason. All right, that actually works. That lines up with the end here. That needs to be changed. I went to the shop and got the closest that you could find that it fit the kitchen. Put another one across here? I don't think so. Alright, let's do that. Perfect. And then I think we can probably pull this a little bit further back. Okay. Maybe a little bit further. There we go. So there's your basic kitchen. Nothing fancy. Maybe a couple of shelves or something. I'm going to move this way slightly. And then we can do this. Do we actually leave the tiles to there? I actually prefer them when they go all the way around. But I think I'm happy with that. Alright, I'm thinking of a little something here. But it's very close quarters, so I'm not quite sure. I just don't like the fact that you can see that. But I'm not going to argue with it. Alright, I think I'm just going to leave that wall for now. We might just put a picture on it. And a little table. We need a little table. I want the, the round one because that's what we're using downstairs. Maybe that. Yes, I know it's ridiculously expensive. What does it look like? Oh, there we go. That's actually perfect. Ah, uh, wood. the stained pine and painted top yeah well, that's quite cute because that would be you might bring that in yourself or it might be here and you rent it furnished so that's quite cute actually and some chairs These are going to be the basic kitchen, either that, oh yeah, definitely not that one, <laughs> let's do this one, we can do that, 
and then we can maybe put a pattern on it. I think that'll be pretty. Just move this and see. I like these two those seats of kitchen chairs. I think I'll take that. Look how pretty that is. put blinds up. We have a door here where you can actually go out onto your little little teeny tiny balcony where you can like dry your socks if the weather's bad type thing or the weather's good. But I think that's quite nice. Now what I've discovered to use as lace mats not decorations, it's accessories. Is this because we can actually get the blank one and we can put a pattern on it? And if we wanted to, we could use the same pattern as the chairs, it's table mats. I think it's quite sweet. Now we also learned something about the sugar bowl where you take that off and it just becomes a little container. But in this instance, I'm actually just liking the sugar bowl as it is. I think it's cool and it fits into the setting very well. So let's get some salt and pepper or whatever is in here. They are so cute. Now we need a kettle. And that will match the whole place. How cool is that? Where do you lift your kettle? Left, left hand or right hand? I'm right handed, but I use lift and pour with my left hand. I don't know if it's weird or not. Do we ever get full in the spice jars? No, we don't. Sad. Oh, we've got fridge magnets. I forgot about the fridge magnets. Oh yeah, we need some fridge magnets. Let's play with fridge magnets, shall we? We have pineapples. Ooh. That's pretty. <laughs> they are so cute. That's huge. Maybe it's a little too big. Oh yes, got to buy the cat. Okay, where was I? Again, shiny. I'm looking for those storage jars. Where are they? Are they in? Decorations, perhaps? Yes, yeah, they are. Alright, so let's see what colour we would like. We've actually got that really pretty blue in this. I think let's, let's do some blue storage jars, shall we? and go back to accessories kitchen accessories drying rack no bread bin definitely I don't know why I put a cross there, it's just I've got short arms. 
So it's hard to get right to the back. I even put my microwave across there when I had to put it in the corner. And then where is that little where is where is the hook? That there we go. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the hooks go go up pretty high. Otherwise, it, this doesn't hang well. I'm not going to do patterns, but I am going to do that sort of pretty blue. Yes. Nope. Have I not put the cupboard high enough? No up. enough it's actually not hooked okay, let's pretend. we are going to need I think it's in Can it? Can it? Can it? Sit on there. No, it can't. That's pretty. <laughs> I'm just going to use this one. lime green. Just too lime green for me. Yes, plastic is very hard to match pretty much anything in your kitchen, but that just looks better than the lime green. All right, so we have a little kitchen area here. We are probably... Can put shelving somewhere around here but this bed is quite large let's see beds in general some of them are bigger than others Seems to take up less space. I don't know if I'm imagining it. What do you think aesthetically wise? I don't think this person will actually be sleeping on this bed. I think this person will probably be sleeping on this bed. Maybe one day, but not yet. Let's change this. I'm going to keep the driftwood. Just have to figure out what pattern we should put on here. I hate that it's upside down. I really do. I like that. It's more subtle. I 
think that's pretty. Let's see, put a clock book down. We can enlarge the carpet. Probably don't need to. Let's see. The white carpet isn't really white, so we might as well see if we can get you see what I'm saying. It's too wide. Which is quite funny actually. To need a smaller carpet. Uh, that one. Let's find a bedside cupboard. I used to like when they sort it into rooms, so it does make life a little bit easier. Personally, if I was in this tiny place, I'd try and get a something that's got drawers, or at least one drawer, so that you have somewhere to put stuff. I don't think I'm going to do another one there. I think I'm going to do a wardrobe because if I let the wall run there, we have enough space for a TV and a couch. Be a good idea to open it that way, though. Let's see, This is a fairly good sized bedroom after all. I was just a little traumatized from coming from such a huge place. Um, the last time I built a house. So let's just copy that.
There we go. Do that again because we actually need a few. We need one there. And one there. Oh, that was because I bought the wool, wasn't it? There we go. A bit better. It does join up at the ends, if you look. Once it meets, it, it makes a neat join. So oh, yeah, yeah. You can build the wall right over it and it don't care. Alright, so maybe we should no, let's get a chest. This is still a small place. It hasn't really got a lot of cupboard space. So let's get not low storage, medium storage. cabinet I'm just looking for a chest of drawers exactly yes drift awesome I can sit on that side of the bed Tempted to do that. You do something like this. As I say, I'm just imagining someone who's getting there, working hard, renting a, a little place like this for now. And we'll eventually move on and up. But for now, it's not a bad little bedroom for them. I would like to get something like this. a chair per se but there's one there and we can put a little mirror you know, that's the word we, like. we could put a little mirror here on the wall Big. I think this one's not bad. Yeah. Actually, it's such a makeup or whatever. Not quite enough. Big mirrors are expensive, you know. Alright. Lights. No. What are we looking for? Yes, we are looking for light switch. This one. So we want a little table lamp. And 
Very cute. Down one. There we go. Perfect. And then, once again, we would be doing sort of something like this. But true. I'll leave the bedside lamp off the circuit, but I do think we need curtains in here. Now, windows covering. Don't know how big we need. Stretch these, I don't think so. No, it's still tell me I can stretch it. going to do this. If we do that. Okay. And then we do that open That's stupid but it's gonna have to look right okay because the wide ones are not wide enough gonna do this color or that that might be pretty Seriously? Where? Where? Oh, there it is. No. There. Oh. Little weird, but it is what it is. And then I'm thinking. Let's personalize the space a little bit with some pictures. We can do let's see. We have some Polaroids. We can't put them in the frame, can we? That's sad. Hmm. I'd like to 
be a place or a person. A bit more sense, all right. Picture frame, where's the cheap one? That's not the cheap one. That's... The cheap one. Let's go for driftwood and see what we can find here. We've got those pretty turquoise colours going on. We do something like that. that I've got here. Yeah, that's a nice one. I quite enjoy that one. And then we've got these two which make up quite a nice pair. It appears that you can only have so much in your custom picture folder. is what it is. That's also quite pretty. There we go. Probably a laundry basket. handbag lying on the floor, maybe a backpack. Looking for a laundry basket. Kitchen accessories? No? Laundry! Laundry! Thank you! Okay. <laughs> would that go there or would that go behind the door? Door can still. Uh, nope. I keep on wanting to select my hand for whatever reason. You know what? If I move this, will the door open and turn? Yes, it will. Awesome. Let's get a plant or two in here. Just a medium one. We don't need anything too big or fancy. Definitely, she went shopping downstairs at that florist, because how cute is that? That is the cutest thing I ever did see.
<laughs> Love that. Mid size. Maybe just either the snake plant or the cast iron plant. Well, there we go. Nothing too exciting. Just finishes the, the room off nicely. I would like to put a hairbrush here. Shower gel. Where the heck? Cream. Pretty little room. Okay. Are you switching on? Yes, you are. And then it's just we need to find space for a TV. Which won't be a problem, I don't think. We can probably maybe put it on this wall or that wall. We are going to have to figure that one out. And, oh, I did put that on. I just didn't put the wood. All right. Let's see how big a TV is. Two eight two thirty. Okay, small. Okay, it'll fit there. Because even though we've got the windows behind us, we can put a sofa here. Curtains. Pain. These curtains fit this time. Yes. Awesome. I'm jumping up and down inside. I do like the fact that they're full length. Makes me very happy. And let's see where that fit. Wanted to open. Perfect. I am thinking, even though we have the green in there, we've got lots of pretty colors. Let's take my headlight off. We've got lots of pretty colors in here. We can go greens, blues. Let's find. It's quite pretty. Oh, damn it. Okay, something fairly generic. with three colors because then we can go bring the green in I 
that blue is wrong. But it does work more with these sort of things. So that will work. Awesome. Now we're going to also need a carpet in here. But let's find a TV cabinet, TV stand. TV right there. Maybe not, but you know what? It is what it is. It's tiny. It's like tiny. That will work because then we can put a sofa here. Small sofa. Very expensive sofa. Yes, it will. Just because I'm a, I'm a coward. I admit it. Okay, and then we can probably put. Good with small spaces. We are going to need something that you can cheeky. I keep swapping genders. Apologies for that. It's just you never quite know what's gonna come out of your mouth next. So will that allow Door to open it though. Yes, awesome. You can actually hang that up and allow it to hang it up. I made no sense that you can hang your clothes up, but I'm tripping over the couch. Would it be a good idea to maybe move the door over a little bit? And you're not tripping over the couch anymore. I think so. Awesome. Will put there? Of course you will. So that's like perfect. <laughs> I get excited. I can't talk. 
All right, the only thing we can't really have is a coffee table. So there isn't that much space for a coffee table. But we can probably do a side table. Which side should we put it? This side. I mean, that's so cute. go to that small kids table but it's still the same size all right and I think there we go that will work We were having to keep people happy to introduce certain things into certain times, into certain places. It certainly wouldn't work. But because we don't have to do that, we're good. Lovely. All right, we're going to put one of those beautiful lights in here. the door and maybe here for the kitchen and we're going for these stunning where are these are from where are these from 50s 60s 70s I'm not sure but You know? Do we want both of these connected? Probably not. No. Remove. Okay, so this one can be connected to that. And that one can always be put off, which makes me happier. And then, do we want maybe one here in the kitchen? We have this marble. Maybe here. So that you can see what you're doing in the kitchen. Awesome. Okay, so we have a TV. We have stuff and other stuff. And we need a carpet on the floor. Oh, what am I doing? Which carpet did we ultimately, it was that one, will this fit? Just. Actually would like to get, where was that design? that one I know it's not perfect but you know what at least you won't walk a path each time you come in the front door you know what let's copy that onto the I think that's pretty so, I 
think I'm going to leave it here. We'll come back and just put a couple more bits and bobs. Put some pictures in. As you can see, we have quite a lot of pretty artwork from Unsplash, which is an amazing place to go and get artwork. You can either sign up for membership and you get the really special pieces, or you can get free downloads and shout out to the artists. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.